What's going on guys? So this is going to be part 3 of the PlayStation 3 refurbishment project that I'm working on. Um, if you're not familiar with it or you've just stumbled across this video, there's two more parts to it, so I'll put the links in the description to those. Basically what I've got here is I've got a an original launch model 60 gig PlayStation 3. It came in with some issues and things, and I've already fixed all those up and cleaned the console up and everything, washed it, got it all nice and clean. Installed 3.55, that's the firmware version for the system. That is the last jailbreakable firmware of any PlayStation 3. Um, if, you, if you're new to jailbreaking or you're just not too sure, you may see people talking about 4.46 custom firmwares and stuff. These aren't actually custom firmwares in the same sense that 3.55 has a custom firmware. These are 3.55 firmwares that have been modified with four, say 4.46 like I've got here code and that basically makes the system think that it's running on 4.46 when in fact it's still running on 3.55 but it has all the features from 4.4. So what I've got here is I've got the Rebug firmware. That is the custom firmware that I have chosen just because it's, it's spoofed to be 4.46. Um, I could have just gone with a 3.55 custom firmware and just left it at that, but some games like to run on newer firmware versions and things, so just to rule out all that. And I've heard Rebug is pretty good, it's got lots of different features in it and things you can use, such as some debug options and things. I don't know much about it, so it's sort of a learning curve for me as well, so we can learn together. So what I've done here is just the standard PlayStation 3 setup I guess you could say of how to install firmware off a flash drive. So in your flash drive it needs to be FAT32 format and in a folder called PS3 it's all case sensitive so it has to be caps lock and then inside PS3 you want update and here's where you want to put your firmware. Now the firmware I'm using is obviously Rebug but the system won't even recognize this unless it's named correctly. Now with this firmware file they've already made it pretty easy so you can rename it and everything get it all right. The system will only look for this file name down the bottom here. It's called ps 3 updat pup. Now if I leave it at this, chances are it won't even find it because it's just programmed just to look for that. Newer firmware revisions do do a bit more searching but a newer firmware revision won't, won't be able to be jailbroken anyway so that's pointless. So what we're going to have to do here is we're just going to have to rename it. If you're in Windows 7 you can just right click and go rename or if you're in OS 10 like me you can just click it twice. Press delete and enter. There we go. Now it's all done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to the PlayStation 3 and we'll go through the install process. Okay, so here we are in the PlayStation 3 and as you can see it's all running nice and smooth. So all we should have to do now is just go over here into settings, go all the way up to the top and go system update. Now be sure to not have the console connected to the internet just in case, but if you do, just remember always go to update via storage media. I've already got my flash drive already plugged in so it's all okay. Press X, enter, and here we go it says the following update data was found. 4.46.1 Rebug RE. So there you go. That's the right one. We'll go enter. Please wait. User agreement. And it just says, this software is no way endorsed, supported, or licensed by Sony. Blah, 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 blah. No warranty. Piracy. This software is not intended for the use of piracy. So don't use it for piracy. Please refer to your country's region copyright laws and it just has the donated information. So we just go right arrow, accept. Okay, now this is something you should really do. Basically this disables automatic system updates. So you do want to go yes, and then you want to go down and press start. Now this is probably going to take a few minutes. So I might just fast forward the video or we'll just cut through it. Warning, the system may hang on a black screen like this. Wait at least five minutes before you turn the system off. I had the same issue happen on this console here, whereas the system would hang on a black screen. I left it for about 10 minutes, 
and then I switched the system off and then after it turned back on it resumed installing as normal. Turning off the system while it's in this first stage is okay as it hasn't actually started installing anything to your NAND or NOR. However, it isn't recommended as it can cause hard drive issues as you'll see later on in the video. Okay, so here we are in the new firmware! Hooray! Um, I've never used Rebug before, so it's new to me as well. As I can see, the PlayStation Store logo is now red. Turn on my controller first. Okay, so here we have the PS3 game folder package manager, which is a bit different to the older firmwares that I was using before. Like, last time I played around with custom firmware on the PS3 it was like 2010, so. This is all new to me. Package Manager, that replaces install package files. So here we can install PlayStation Network content, install package files, delete package files. Now that's pretty cool. Uh, go up here, all the same stuff. Here we have the PS Vita system application utility. That wasn't in 3.55 because PS Vita wasn't even around then. So internet browser, remote play. Cool. Let's try that my PSP. Um, nothing new here. PlayStation Store. Is that just there? I am. Sorry. Oh. No? I don't know. We've got PlayStation stuff twice. I don't know why. Friends? I've got no friends. Sad face. Videos. That's just my flash drive with the firmware on it. Music, nothing new, nothing new. Let's see what's here. Debug settings. Ooh, let's have a look in here. WMA, let's turn that on. A track, that's on. NP environment, yeah, I don't know what that does. Let's not play with that. Ugh, back. Fake free space for retail console. Fake limit size. So yeah, now we've installed this custom firmware, we're going to have a bit of fun with it. I don't know what that does. Will it have to restart the system? Oh. Now as you can see, it says Rebug now, which is pretty cool. I'm going to turn that off, it's kind of annoying. That warning at start. Turn the controller on. So yeah, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a few little apps and things. And then we should have some fun with it. So, if you like the video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.